In the last local elections in May 2022, the Wales Green Party won seven seats, which is the uh, by far the best set of results the Green Party has ever had. And there are now seven Green councillors working uh, across Wales. What impact have those councillors had since their election? I think straight away, the biggest impact that I want to bring up is we had um, a first non-binary, first pers person of colour, um in so <clears throat> we had ian in monmouthshire and we have um lauren in newport so that's great young person nathan um what the councillors have actually been doing so in newport um lauren's been fighting for better bus services in nathan in neathan port talbot he got the council to declare a climate emergency and he's you know, very proactive in what he's doing. I went to go see him uh, and see the group uh, down in Neath uh, for Christmas. And it was lovely to, to see the kind of motivation he's got going on down there as well. Um, Ian in Monmouthshire is uh, divest, um, he, what he wants to do is to divest the council uh, from fossil fuels and uh, John and Martin uh, up north are encouraging um, the council to end single-use plastics. Now um, what we do is, uh, well personally what I do is you know look at the council websites you know we've got videos um, on there and so anybody who's interested in looking at you know real council business uh, can be a bit dry but this is this is how we find out what's going on basically as well you know um and it's it's great you know it, it getting elected is a massive is a massive thing but then doing the work and staying elected and that you know that's where that's that's the lion's share of the business and as uh, both myself um with helen and also with Anthony and with others in Wales Green Party Council, we want to support our councillors um, all the way, you know, and and the Green Party of England Wales needs to support Wales uh, councillors all the way. Um, and it's, uh, it, it's it, in Wales in particular, it's, it is a topic that we are um thinking about at the moment in that how do we organize it so we can push forward for a senate seat so that should i leave you open that's a kind of doorway to your next question i suppose <laughs> i will move on to that in a second but i can see anthony slaughter is coming on the youtube chat to make a correction uh oh. which is i said there were seven green councillors but anthony says there were eight so i apologize uh for the misinformation and he's also pointed out that of course that uh, two councillors were elected in Cardiff on a joint Green Plied Common Ground ticket. So uh, thanks, as always, for your uh, comments, Anthony, and thank you for watching the show. Um, so, as I said, the 2022 elections were the most successful elections in the world's Green Party's history. Um, those numbers that I've just read out. Uh, previously, you know, in the last set of local elections, the Greens only got one seat and the, year be the time before that, they got no seats. So... It's, it's really a historic moment last May was for the Greens. Do you think this has cemented the Welsh Greens as a, as a key player in Welsh politics? Yeah, I mean, well, if you look at the people who were voted in, you can see exactly why they were voted in. You know, their, their strength of character, their determination, their loyalty to, to the people that they're serving. And, uh, yeah you know that that so the these guys um have put their all into it you know and so you know we need to support them we need to make sure that they're good um when we got the last wales it was in brecon and radnishir where where i am um the who we had voted in there was emily powers county council and, and we saw there where there were issues you know because being a green party voice can be a lonely job however we um you know climate change was something that some people were still denying five years ago <laughs> and i think we've come on leaps and bounds since then 
And I think what we needed was like sectors such as the finance sector to actually start taking this sort of thing quite seriously. Um, I mean, Al Gore's um, uh, kind of, uh, what was it, his uh, PowerPoint presentation came out two decades ago, you know, and had people been listening then, it would have been a lot better. But, you know, um, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, for sure, for sure. And the reason the reason why it's cementing is because uh, there is an attitude change in the people there's a generational change um and and of obviously the the determination and the the spirit of of the councillors and the, the people more in, who, who are involved um with the green party here in wales so i've got a couple of other questions for you but before i come to them i just wanted to say to our viewers please do get any questions that you want to see asked in the chat and i'll do my best to come to them uh before i come to the chat uh my next question for you is um looking forwards rather than backwards so we had that breakthrough for the welsh greens in 2022 i wanted to ask you what you think the next breakthrough for the for the, for the Wales green party will be will it be a first senate seat will it be greens entering administration and councils what do you see as the next major step for the welsh green party all of the above. Um, and at the AGM, I've made this particular, um, um, paid particular attention to the fact that we need something in the Senate. And it got so close last time, it really did. And we need, we need somebody in the Senate seat. And at this point, what I want to do is flag up um, the fact that as deputy uh, spokesperson, um, along with Helen and with Anthony, we don't get paid. So we need those people who are being paid with whales in their title to step up as well, because we can't do everything alone. We're volunteers. And so if we, you know, we, we have the passion, we have the determination, but at the same time, we can't put in the time that we would love to be able to do. It's just impossible because we need to work. So what I suggest to the leadership is if you've got, um, you know, deputy leader of Wales and Green, um, Wales and England, or England and Wales, that needs to be, that, well, you, you know what I'm gonna say, right? So you've got England and Wales, but we're not feeling it in Wales. Um, and, um, I don't think Anthony will mind me saying this, and I think it needs to be said, is that although the members had voted in for Anthony to be paid a wage, that was turned down recently. So that has been a real kicker for us because, you know, Anthony's amazing what he does, you know, what he, what, and he goes out there and he does, and he's such, he's such a patient person. Um, and then to have that not, kind of appreciated um and there might be you know there's lots of reasons why and some wherefores and excuses or whatever it is you know I don't know the details but what I will say is this if we want a senate seat which is what we will do which is what we want we need people to be paid or and or we need the leadership to turn up at our meetings, the, the Green Party Council meetings, they need to be there. They need to be taking an active role in our council meetings because it's in the title. Either get rid of that title or um, step up. So before I, before I come to another question for you, I think, uh, and I may be wrong on this, but my understanding is that the Wales Green Party, Wales Green Party leader remuneration um, wasn't turned down but deferred and I just wanted to, to to clarify that not to take anything away from what you said um, and the agreement that you have but I think just in terms of technical terminology I think just to be clear on that now the other question I wanted to put to you is you talked about the need for the uh, leadership of the Green Party of England and Wales to step up in their support for the Wales Greens and you talked about them you know attending Wales Green Party Council and other things what kind of practical steps would you like to see from the Green Party's leadership to support the election and campaigning efforts of, of the Wales Green Party? 
the Wales Green Party leadership or leadership or Wales in England or England and Wales? The, so, yeah, the Green Party of England and Wales leadership to support the Wales Green Party in a way that you've described. Well, like you said, like we said, it starts with attending meetings. It starts with being here. It starts with um, action planning. It starts with um, putting as much energy that is being put into England into Wales. It's as simple as that. Fantastic. Now I've got a question that's come in from the chat from Paul Beswick. Um, Paul asks, uh, so here in Cardiff, so presumably Paul is in Cardiff, the Greens and Plaid Cymru are negotiating um, about campaigning as a single party, not only for the council seats, which happened in May, but also for Senate seats. Is there enough common ground, and they put that in inverted commas, uh, as you see it, with Plaid and the Greens in order to make that happen? Now, this is something that Anthony would be better. Um, um, he's got more knowledge about this. And um, I know it's, it's a contentious issue in some respects. We, uh, as far as I'm aware, up in Brecon and Radnorshire and with the Wales Green Party, we are, um, look, we're going to talk to Plaid, see, you know, where there is um, kind of common ground, you know, but I don't think it's something that we should really shy away from um talking to other political parties it doesn't make sense not to talk to other political parties you know um climate change everyone says it's not a political issue it's not a political issue it's a life issue and the fact that the green party are a political party yeah but they are, are essentially our agenda goes across the board you know it's about essentially it's life-saving if you if you're looking at it um with eyes wide open and to get involved in the in the the kind of murky politics and what should we do this should we do that frankly we don't have the time to play politics it's just not there you know and there's times where i think when i when i hear that when i hear the um debate about implied and greens and should we be working together not we're working together whatever i think it's like navel gazing um, but if you want to get into the nitty gritty of uh, what's happening and if you want a, uh, you know, a more experienced voice on it, uh, Anthony would be the person to speak to on that. So for viewers who are interested in that, uh, I spoke to Anthony on the first episode of Bright Green Live and you can go back and watch that video on our YouTube channel. Um, but for now, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much.